When working at height on top of a building, we're all aware of the danger we are exposed to, but falling from a low height can also cause major injuries. Actually, numbers show that over two-thirds of all working at height injuries are caused by falling from low height. That's about seven out of 10. These accidents happen when using ladders incorrectly, falling on wet or slippery surfaces or from unprotected edges. Working from height remains one of the biggest dangers on a construction site. But let's face that together so we can all get home safely by the end of the day. Always think of the person next to you as your safety buddy. Make sure you both do your job in a safe and responsible manner. Always speak to a supervisor if you're ever in doubt about your safety. That's the right thing to do. There are many situations where you're at risk from low falls. Let's go through a few. Number one, getting from A to B on site. When walking around the site, you may find yourself in dangerous situations where low falls can occur. So be careful. What you should do. Use proper stairs, solid, stable and secured. Use guardrails. Use the designated walkways. What you shouldn't do. Do not access any place that is not safe. Don't think you can jump down from height without risking getting injured. Number two, connecting and disconnecting containers. This can also create an unsafe situation. What you should do, ensure that the ladder is fastened. What you shouldn't do, never walk on top of a container without the full protection. Number three, working on machines. This may also be a dangerous affair, onshore and offshore. What you should do, Always wear a life vest if you are offshore or onshore within two meters from the water. Make contact with the operator and inform him about your intention before approaching. What you shouldn't do. Do not approach the machine if it's moving. Do not climb the machine without full protection if the machine has no rails. Number four, unloading supply. You should also be careful when unloading items from the trailer bed what you should do. Make sure you always are protected by a harness and a yo-yo. Only climb onto a vehicle using an approved access point. Inform your supervisor if you see a supplier on site in an unsafe situation. Suppliers must also follow the safety rules on site. What you shouldn't do. Do not jump down from the vehicle. Do not stand on the trailer bed during the lift. Number five, using ladders. Accidents also happen when ladders are used incorrectly. What you should do? Ask yourself, is the ladder the best and safest solution? If so, is the ladder fit for purpose? Is it securely fastened? Is there a 75 degree angle? Can I keep three points of contact? When using ladders as access roads, the ladder must be securely fastened against slipping and tipping over. Make sure the ladder is approximately one meter above the access point. What you shouldn't do. Do not use broken or unstable ladders. Do not step outside the ladder or overreach. Always prepare yourself before starting any task to a last minute risk assessment. Do not ignore the risk for falling in a hurry to get the job done. Accidents can have a bigger impact than you think not only for you and your colleagues, but also your family, friends, and your future. Never be afraid to stop work in unsafe situations or if something isn't quite right. Remember, you see it, you own it. We all have a responsibility. Watch out for yourself and your safety buddies so we can all get home safely. <laughs>